hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is esther and this is seed styles you're welcome to seed styles in today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to couple our senator outfit and in coupling this outfit there are some pieces or some things that we need to couple, bring together so this piece that you're seeing me working on here is the button stand for the front where i will be fixing my flap so I went ahead to gum my, I want it to be a little bit thick, but you can go ahead and use your fabric like that without gumming it. So I went ahead to use a gum stay to gum my, and then I'll go ahead and fold it like this once and fold it twice. Then the width should be half of an inch, it shouldn't be more than that, half of an inch is okay. I'll go ahead and iron it flat like so. Then the length, I'll be marking 8.5 inches and go ahead and cut it then the allowance that will be leaving to sew it will be quarter of an inch it shouldn't it shouldn't be more than that quarter of, of an inch and this is what we are having now i will go ahead and take my front where i will be fixing it i went ahead to gum my neckline with a chest gum and to make it firm i like my neckline to be firm so I use a chest gum to gum it. You can ask for a chest gum for any tailoring shop. They will give you. Then from the front, I will mark from the neckline down with eight inches. That will be my opening. Then when you are cutting your opening, the the opening on that area, you shift your hand towards the side where you are going to be fix attaching your pocket and cut it out. You just shift your hand with like quarter of an inch is okay. Then cut it down to your 8 inches and give you some notches around that area. And that is what you'll be having. Then you go ahead and iron that one open. Make sure this is flat for you to attach your reason. Now, this is how I'll be attaching the button stand. Yeah, uh, that the reason why you shift your hand, the reason why I do not cut it in the middle, so that when you when you fix your placket it will not be folding on that particular area that i was illustrating so i'll go ahead and pick the button stand and that is your side that i will be fixing the button stand like so you attach turn it to the wrong side attach it like so as i'm illustrating this way i will fold it this is my button stand i'll fold it then turn it to the wrong side, attach it, and flip it back to the right side, and go ahead and top stitch it, and that is what we'll be having. Now I will go ahead and pick the placket itself. I still press it well, and it will be relaxed. Then I will also place it on the wrong side like this. I use my allowance that I left to sew it, and go ahead and sew it down. Turn it to the right side and top stitch it and then bring it and iron it. And can we see how relaxed it is? It's not folding any anyway. Then from the neck, like from the shoulder line, I'll go ahead and mark 8.5 inches down. Then the placket side, I mark one and a half inches. Then I'll attach my pocket and this is what we're having. Can we see how beautiful it is? Now I will keep my front piece aside and pick the neck, the back side. The back piece. I'm going to here to gum the neckline as well for that firmness. Then this fabric is a design. I just want this design to be on the inside of the back, just the back. It will be on the inside. So I've gone ahead to cut it around, and this is what I folded the hemline in, iron it, folded it with half inch. Then I'll go ahead and attach it and sew it round. So it, it's not a facing, it's just a design on the inside. Go ahead and sew it round like this. Sew it, sew it, sew everything round like that. Then this is what we are having. The stitches on top, don't worry about it. You are going to be using your facing to cover it. And this is what we are having now. This is my facing. The facing, I cut the length of my facing, I cut it 10 inches. 10 inches. Then that design inside, I cut it 7 inches. So when you fold it, 
when you attach it, your facing will be able to cover that design at the, on the right side. The stitches will not be showing. The stitches of the design will not be showing on the on the right side. That is the reason why I cut the length seven inches, then the facing ten inches. So I will pick the front, then. The wrong side of the front will be first touching the wrong side of the back and then I will join it on the shoulder line. I will join the two on the shoulder line like I am doing. I will go ahead and place the, the facing. This facing is for the back. I will place it the wrong, the right side of the facing will be touching the right side of the front. Then I will go ahead and sew them on the shoulder line together like this and this is what we will be having. Like so. Now I will go ahead and open it. I will iron it. When ironing it, I will first of all iron the shoulder line. I will some ironing it. I will be bending it towards the the front, like so. Then pull the front piece a bit so that the neckline will relax perfectly. As you are, uh, the shoulder line, I mean, will relax perfectly so that it will not be folding or packings around that shoulder line pull the front a bit go ahead and do the same with the other side as i am doing can we see how i'm pulling the front a bit a little so that the shoulder line will be well ironed and open well ironed iron it properly make sure you iron it well then i'll go ahead and flip the facing to the back side the facing is for the back Go ahead and flip it to the back side and then you iron it again on the shoulder line. Make sure that the facing is ironed towards the back. Adjust it well and then you go ahead and iron it. Iron it very well. Make sure it's properly. Take your time. You don't have to rush your work. Take your time and iron your work very, very well. Take your time. You can go ahead and sprinkle some water on it if you want, but my iron, if you sprinkle some water, it will stain my clothes. I don't know what is happening. Even if I clean the iron, it's this thing. So uh, I use dry iron to iron the clothes. But I make sure I take my time to iron it well. Take your time. You want to have that professional finishing, so take your time. All this part that you are seeing are the finishing area, so you have to take your time and make sure that your finishing is professionally. You take your time and iron it very well. Make sure every part of it is relaxed. Every part is relaxed, then you go ahead and top stitch it down there. And to stitch it, and then this is what we are having. Now you place it like this and trim off the neckline. And trim off the neck, the, the, the back neckline, the, the neckline around that area from the shoulder towards the back is is not is not properly finished. So I'll go ahead and trim it up a little bit. I'll open it up like so and trim off any excesses that is around that area like so then trim out the fronts as well and this is what we are having now the next thing that i'll be doing is to cross check my neckline and be sure that i have what is supposed to be there in my neckline is my color is 19 inches so i want to cross check it to be sure that i'm having 19 and i is not up to 19 so now pay attention closely to this part yeah we have to increase it and when you want to increase your neckline you have nothing the back has nothing to do with it from the shoulder line to the back has nothing to do with it your focus should just be on the front depth that is where you'll be increasing your neckline the front depth that area that i'm pointing that is where your focus should be so i first of all went down with half inch then move like that and on that side I went in with 
0 0.4 inches, then quarter of an inch is 3 point half inch, 0 0.4 quarter of an inch, then I blended it towards that area, like so, like so. I will do the same thing on the other side, half inch, 0 0.4, and quarter of an inch and blend it in that area. Blend it like so. As you see me doing, that's how you blend it. Then you are not going to cut it. Go ahead and take your tape and cross check it to be sure it's like the 19 inches or 18 inches. It depends on the neckline that you are having. Use your own neckline. You go ahead and make sure you measure it to be sure that what you are having, what you are looking for is giving you. So I measured mine and it was not up to 19. So I will still go down with half of an inch again as I'm doing just the, sa the same way I did with the, the other side. I will just go down with half of an inch on one side, half of an inch on the other side and then blend it down like this. Can we see what I'm doing? See the way I'm blending it. Go ahead and blend it like so. And cross check it again. Take your time. Don't rush it. Cross check it. You want to have a perfect color on your senator outfit. So, and when I cross check it, it was 19. It gave me exactly 19. That is to say, from the neckline I went down with one inch and it gave me exactly 19 then I will go ahead and cut it pick one side first and cut it then cut the other side and voila this is our neckline can we see how perfect the neckline is looking so take your time to shape it just like as I did here this is how our neckline is now looking and it's 19 exactly so the next thing that we're going to be doing here now is to shape our outfit is to shape it you have to cross check it shape it now i will cross check my shoulder line my shoulder line is 20 so i will be needing 21 half inch to sew on the other side half inch to attach the sleeve on the other side so mine gave me 23 and I'm looking for 21. So I took one inch on one side, one inch on the other side. Then I will mark the length of my armhole. The length of my armhole is nine inches. So I'll go ahead and mark my nine inches there. And then I will do the same thing with the other side. But before that, make sure you align every part of your arm, of your outfit. Make sure this front and back pieces are lined together very well then I'll go ahead and mark where my nine inches is and you go ahead and use your scissors to cut it out align it use your scissors to cut from your, the nine inches you go ahead and shape it and this is what you'll be having perfect armhole now we are not going to stop there you have to shape the front armhole I measured my client, the front from one armhole to the other was 16.5. So, and here is 20 inches, so I will be needing 17.5, one inch to join the sleeve, half inch on one side, half inch on the other side to join the sleeve. So, I will go ahead and shape it in with one inch. I need 17.5, so I will be left with... Uh, I'm having 20, 20 take away, so I'll be having 2.5. I'll go in with one and a half, one one quarter on one side, one one quarter on the other side, so that this to shape the front, so that when you finish your outfit, there won't be excess fabric gathering on this armhole area. You know, sometimes when you are wearing some clothes that are not properly shaped, that area that I'm pointing and illustrating on my body will be gathering some fabric there that is not professional so uh, that is this is how you eliminate you get rid of those excesses on that chest line i went in with quarter one one quarter and on the other side one, one quarter on the other side then i'll go ahead and shape it 
and I will cut it down to shape my front armhole. When I measured my client, the front armhole was 16.5 inches while the back was 20. So here the front I shape it with one and a half inches. You shape it like this, only pick the front and cut it and not for the front and back. It's only on the front piece. Can we see how I'm cutting it? The front piece alone. And this is what will be happening. The back was 20, was 19 inches when I measured my client. So I'm having 20 inches here. So it's perfect for my back. And I'll go ahead and shape the front arm hole. As you see me doing like so. Can we see? I've gone ahead to do that. And this is what we're having. So I'll go ahead and pipe the neckline. I have a tutorial on how to pipe your neckline, how to how to make your placket, how to make this design pocket, and even the cuff. I have a tutorial on those. I will go and leave the link on the description below. Go ahead and watch it. And here I have fixed my sleeve to my outfit. I have a tutorial on this pocket. I'll leave the link on the description box below. I also have a tutorial on the placket. I'll leave the link and a tutorial on how to attach a cuff to your sleeves. I will drop the link on the tutorial on the description box below. And the piping of the neckline, I have a tutorial on that as well. I will drop the link on the description box below. Now I'll take it and go ahead and, and overlock it before I attach my cuff to it. It's only the neckline that you will not overlock every part of it, you are going to overlock it. The neckline and where you'll be attaching your cuff, you are not going to overlock it. Then I will take it to my machine and close the side. As you see me, it's showing. It's close it down to that point where my opening will be. And voila, this is what we are having. I've closed the seam, close every part of it, I've fixed my I piping, I piped the neckline, fix my cuff. I went after closing the side. I went in to open it up with my iron, iron it down. Then the show the armhole. I iron it, iron the seam towards the sleeve. When you are weaving it, you'll be pushing that armhole seam towards your sleeve. So when you sew it, you iron it towards your sleeve and everything will be relaxed as you see me. See it, see me illustrating down there. Now I'll go ahead and I went ahead to sew to close that opening seam. Top stitch it, then the hemline as well. I went ahead to lock it with my machine. And this is what we are having. This is my outfit this is how my snitter top is looking isn't this beautiful guys if you've watched this this tutorial to this point and you've not subscribed please go ahead and do so subscribe like share and leave a comment on the comment section you get notified whenever i drop a video like this i'm just a small youtuber trying to grow please i need your help to grow Go ahead and subscribe to and like and watch the video. Please watch it. Don't just subscribe and don't download it. Subscribe and watch. Watch the tutorials. You're watching the watch hours, the likes and comments, all the shares. They will really go a long way for me. I need you to do so, please. Thank you so much guys. This brings us to the end of our tutorial. God bless you. God bless us. God bless your nation. Wherever you're watching me from, God bless Nigeria. Let's stay safe and show love to one another. Bye. Thank you, Sid Style, for making me look gorgeous. <laughs>